Spooler, spooler! Oh, spooler, spooler. Watch it now, watch it now. Just calm down, Paige. Let's just keep going, just keep swimming. It's just like they said, Finding Nemo, all those years ago. You learned so many valuable lessons. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope that it is beautiful wherever you are because, oh my God, Michigan is finally getting it. Like after a week of just the most garbage weather and flooding and excessive rain, and there was even random sleet in there sometimes, like we are finally getting good, beautiful, sunny weather. And it's just, it's so good for my soul. So I hope wherever you are, you're getting some decent weather. If you don't have the good weather yet, just hang in there because I promise you it's coming. Michigan is always one of the last places to get beautiful weather. So just hang in there, stay the course, and uh, you can hang out with me. Hello. While we uh, go through some new affordable makeup that I just picked up from Essence and I'm really pumped actually for this video because I feel like affordable makeup is one of those things that even though sometimes you go through it and you're just like what in the actual hell is this? This is trash. Sometimes you can stumble upon like that one little thing, like that one hidden gem, and it makes the entire experience worth it. And I'm really rooting for this batch of makeup because just looking at it, there's a lot of beautiful looking makeup in here. And just to give you a brief run through of what I have and like what's coming up in this video, I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use, but I do have two foundations. This is the Soft Touch Mousse Makeup, and this is the Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup with a Healthy Glow. Uh, to last up to 12 hours. So I have both of those. I have this weird glow my mind glow roller. Don't know what this is. Reminds me of third grade. So we're, we're going to definitely get into that in a second. I picked up some more of the Essence lip liners. You guys know I already love these. These are the eight hour lip liners. I have a couple of brow products. Then I also have a few face options. I'm a few, four. Um, and just because I really wanted like a nice variety. So the first thing that I have here is the glow my mind baked highlighter trio. Looks a little something like this. Super duper beautiful. I love the look. The aesthetic is stunning and I can't wait to swatch it and see how the consistency is. I picked up two of these face palettes. I have the matte bronzing palette right here. You can see I still have all the protection on them, but that's the matte one. And then I have the pure nude highlighter palette and this has four more shades of highlight because can't stop, won't stop. And then I also picked up just, I guess, because why not the Sun Club Luminous Bronzing Powder. And now that I'm looking at this, this is in the shade medium and it's too deep for me. <laughs> so what I'm saying is we're off to a good start. Um, let's go ahead, put our hair back and get started. All right, so we're good and zoomed in. And while I was just reading the back of these bottles to decide which one I wanted to use, I did go ahead and prep my skin with a little Tatcha Silk Canvas, this the liquid version, just to get everything good and settle down. And just reading the back of these, I feel like I'm leaning a little bit more towards the fresh and fit because it says on here, it's a good breathable texture. It gives your skin a healthy glow. It's medium to high coverage without a mask effect and it lasts up to 12 hours. And I just feel like that like, you know, lighter kind of lilty look is more so what I'm into at the moment for today. Uh, but on the back of the other one, just to be fair, it says this is a soft touch mousse and it gives a natural and matte finish. And I think, don't get me wrong, this one doesn't sound bad, but just for today, I feel like this is a little bit more my vibe. So I'm probably going to stick with these. I did grab both foundations in two different shades, which this one maybe I'll save for like a full face of new drugstore or something. You guys can let me know down below if you have, you know, the interest in seeing that, whatever. But for today, I have two different shades of this one, and I have it in the shade 10 Fresh Ivory and 30 Fresh Honey, which obviously the 30 is too deep for me, but I thought if I needed a mixer, I kind of wanted to have two different options. So this is probably what we're going to be focusing on. And I have to say right off the bat, you guys, the actual bottle and the component of this is really nice. You get a full fluid ounce. It's a glass bottle, comes with a pump. It feels really nice so far. And then to apply this, I also also grabbed the crystal sponge set which just comes in this little plastic tube and they are like this I, I already did wet them obviously so I could just sit down and use them for application purposes as far as my first impressions go I don't really see the practicality of this sponge like I, I, I see the concept okay yeah it's supposed to be a diamond but I don't see it having like a purpose as far as application goes whether it's for foundation or anything else just my opinion like maybe yes the straight edge if you're wanting to like really get in there and cut a contour but for application application. I feel like these are just a little bit obnoxious to try and hold on to, just my personal opinion. But I'm going to grab some of this foundation, which holy cow, that has already oxidized so much just sitting on my hand. Oh, great. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and apply some of this. We are going to do one side with a sponge and the other side with a brush. Oh my God. This sponge is just, oh my God. 
Guys, this sponge is the biggest gimmick ever. Okay, you don't need the sponge. Okay, I definitely don't think we're gonna need the shade 30. <laughs> oh man, I'm the wrong shade. Okay, <gasps> awesome. Okay, so can I just show you? This is how my face looks. I have applied almost all the makeup I took on the back of my hand and look at this sponge. Like, are you gonna tell me that this sponge is not literally sucking up every bit of freaking product I'm trying to put on my face? That is so irritating. Okay, so we're not gonna do that anymore. Instead, we're gonna try the brush option here. So I have a clean Fenty brush, which is one of my favorite foundation brushes. I'm taking a little bit more foundation, which this right here is the fresh, so you can see that oxidizing factor. It's getting very dark, but we're just gonna take a little bit of it and try it on this side and see if maybe we can get not only a quicker application, but maybe a little bit more coverage. Because I feel like that other side, it's like, ugh, the, co the coverage is questionable at this point. Okay, so this is the side I just did with the brush, and you'll have to excuse my like half contorted body. I'm really trying to get it into the light because evidently the only place I have light in this room right now is on this side of my face. That's not annoying. We're just gonna do our best to kind of show you what I'm talking about, but I think I do like the application with a brush, but at the same time, I feel like... It almost applied it like in a really thick way. And I don't know if it's something about the foundation or like if it's the consistency of the foundation or what, but it almost feels like maybe I should apply it. You know what? Let's do it this way. I'm gonna grab myself just a little bit more foundation, which at this point I've already used a ton, I feel like. And uh, we're just gonna go through and touch up on this side with a brush just to see if we can again build that freckle bit of coverage and then over top of that we're going to take a clean real technique sponge which i wet you know just to be on the safe side and i'm glad i did and we are going to take and just press that over top just to help eliminate any excess um, foundation that's sitting on the surface of the skin and also to try and blend this out because look at that ridiculous color. I would say that this has probably oxidized at least maybe two or three shades just since I put it on my face. Like, that's a little bit ridiculous. And I love that even though I went through probably seven or eight pumps of foundation, I have basically no coverage on my face. Like, you can see right back here and right up here, I have just literally no coverage. <laughs> and I went through so much foundation. So as of right now, I'm not obsessed with the foundation. Um, but again, you know, we always like to be fair here. We like to give it its time. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some concealer and some powder, which just to keep everything as even as I would normally apply it, we're going to grab the Hourglass Concealer. This is one of my favorites. And we're just going to apply this. I feel like if anything is going to help this makeup survive and like look decent, it's going to be <laughs> this Hourglass Concealer. Like if anything can save it, girl. It's the All right, so I went ahead and I blended out the concealer and while I was off of camera I kind of played around with the camera a little and I feel like from here you guys can see at least I'm hoping you can see a little bit better the discoloration and like what's happening with my face as well as the um, Acne and like the lack of coverage. So again, I'm just kind of playing around with it So you guys can hopefully see better what's going on from here I'm just going through really quickly and I'm setting my under eyes and my t-zone with my Maybelline fit me This is in the shade 05 fair and it is one of my most trusted setting powders powders of all time. It is so beautiful. And then real quickly, I'm also going to set down the rest of my face with my Too Faced Born This Way powder here. This is in the shade Cloud. And this will just be a nice way to lightly set the skin so we can go in with the rest of the powder products, but also a good way to add just a touch more coverage. Okay, so in a random but fun twist of events here, that foundation's actually looking okay now. I added both of the powders and I feel like... Maybe that's all she needed. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We're very early on in this game. All right now from there It's time to go in with brows, which I do have a new pencil for this is their super last 24 hour eyebrow pomade pencil It says it is a waterproof pencil and I have it in the shade 20 brown So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that sculpted through very lightly again more of a light kind of day today Okay, so can somebody please explain to me why you take away my spoolie and you give me this teeny tiny little like rubber tip I don't I I don't even understand the purpose of this like literally what are you and I'm, that's not figurative, literally. That's literally what even is this thing. I don't get it. I don't like it. What is happening? Number two, what even is this pencil? Like, it's so gooey and gummy, and it feels like a like a waterline eye pencil. Like, it's that type of glidey. Newsflash, that's not the type of glidey I want in my brow. This does say eyebrow, right? Eyebrow pomade pencil. Okay, so maybe it's a pomade pencil, which is why it's gummy. But still, you wouldn't put the... Uh, I'm trying to be optimistic, y'all. I'm trying real hard, but oh my god. 
Y'all are doing me dirty, Essence. Okay, so we're just gonna grab a spoolie. Maybe that'll make all the difference. Oh, a spoolie, how I've missed thee. Spooler, spooler, oh, spooler, spooler. Guys, I have been working on this brow for at least the last seven minutes. This is how far it is. Hot fire trash garbage. Oh, oh my God, I'm so irritated. I, <laughs> I think I hate this. Like, not even, I don't even think I hate it. Like, at this point, it's like a spiritual, like, I'm about ready to make some sort of a infliction device <laughs> for this pencil. <sighs> okay. Let's just calm down, Paige. Let's just keep going. Just keep swimming. It's just like they said, Finding Nemo all those years ago. You learned so many valuable lessons. Oh, awesome. If you push even a little bit harder, um, it actually deposits a giant thick line of clay into your brows. So that's really cool and fun. Oh my God. Okay, so in a fun turn of events, I just took that pencil and like threw it over my shoulder and I was gonna like pick it up and like, okay, fine, finish and like try to use it one more time and just really be diligent. Uh, but fortunately for the first time in my life, I can't see a damn thing. So I don't even know where it went. Darn, wouldn't you know it? I have to use literally anything else. Um, so let me just look in my drawer here. And the first thing I see is a Milani pencil. Perfect, perfect. This will work great. This is the Milani, what is this? Precision Brow, this is in the shade 130 soft brown and look a spoolie a spoolie oh my god thank you lord up above a spoolie okay so we're just gonna have to try to clean the brows up here in a minute and like maybe some concealer maybe something will help fix this process but for now let's go ahead and see if a little brow gel will help this is their make me brow eyebrow gel mascara i have it in the shade o2 brownie brows and uh, i've actually used this before i think it's a pretty good brow gel and let's hope that it can help fix whatever i've got going on right now y'all the, the amount of work that i'm putting into these brows right now honestly I think I could have painted the Mona Lisa easier than I could have done these brows <laughs> like I'm not trying to be a facetious asshole but oh this is so frustrating all right so from here we're gonna stop the work on the brows and just not talk about them ever again okay cool uh because like this brow you can tell this brow just got like a whole situation going on but I did my best to match them and to fix them and I just I have to move on for my sanity I have to move on and I just realized I never talked or touched this little guy this is that essence glow my mind glow roller and it says that it's just a roll-on shimmer and it occurred to me, this obviously can't go over powder, so I at least want to take a look at it and see what it does. Oh, stop it right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's literally glitter. Oh my god. Is it like loose glitter? Oh my god, you guys. It's loose glitter in a roller. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> Third grade page is quaking. She's living her best life. Look at this. <laughs> I could literally paint my world right now with roll-on glitter and the best part is that it's not in like a wet base of any kind so it literally just blows everywhere which means I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of my life oh man I just want to take it and squiggle it all over my face anyways let's put that down let's talk about uh, something else something that we can actually apply to our face and for that we have some bronzer options now I was debating between the sun matte bronzing powder palette here which again are these four shades or this luminous one which is in the shade medium so I'd have to be very careful and then it occurred to me we should probably start off by at least swatching all of them so let's go ahead and do that really quickly if we can get into this hello okay this is where fake nails become a problem oh my god speaking of which you guys are so gonna ask me look at how cute these little fake nails are i am obsessed with oh my god look at all the sparkles on my hand wow but i'm obsessed with these fake nails these are the kiss what are they hold on these are the impress one step gel nails and this is in the color rocket so it has the cute little tips and then the little shimmery accents on it and they are so freaking easy to deal with anytime you guys see my nails that are looking like extra beautiful it's almost always these i am obsessed with them they're so easy and they just look so freaking cute they're like maybe six or 8.99 something like that anyways back to what we were going to talk about let's fix my pasty ass face this is the bronzing powder palette here and i really love actually these two tones right here but i oh but i think those two are probably going to be a little bit more me the color and the pigmentation is not bad at all but along with those i want to swatch this one right here which again i have it in the shade medium and it's the luminous bronzing powder so we'll go ahead and throw that one right down here 
as far actually you know what that color doesn't look that bad I could probably get away with that and actually while I'm at it I'm gonna grab my essence matte bronzing powder this is one that I've used all the time I've been using it a ton lately and I want to go ahead and swatch that just so you guys have a comparison oh wow I guess the medium is a lot darker than that okay because <laughs> this is the one I normally use that's the luminous medium and then this up here is the quad that I picked up all right so I think the first place I'm gonna start actually is in the palette right here and I'm going to mix together the top or the lighter two shades right here because I feel like the tones are oh, wow there's quite a bit of kick in that I don't know if you can see it but very very soft shades again not necessarily bad could just mean that they'll blend out really well but y'all there's a lot there's a lot of foofing going around here but I'm gonna take those this is just a duo fiber brush and I'm gonna take and just kind of lightly work those in oh wow this foundation up close looks nasty y'all oh my god that foundation Mm -mm. All right, so bronzing is complete. I actually don't hate the powder. Like, I would definitely test that out again. I'm going to go ahead and top it with a little bit of the luminous one just because I, I, I don't even know why at this point because my face is perfectly bronzed, but I just want to take a little bit of this and throw it over top. Again, very, very light-handed. I, like, barely dunked in, and now I'm just kind of using it to lightly glow up the perimeter you know what if our foundation isn't gonna look good we might as well just be super duper glowy at least that's what I'm telling myself so I'm just gonna go ahead here throw that on and you know what actually maybe I'll take just a little bit of this bronzer and I'll like fluff it over as kind of a faux blush and then I'll just top it with a little pink or something like that. Like, just give it that touch of sun kiss. That actually used to be something I loved to do a couple of years ago. I would take my bronzer and just, like, throw it over the cheeks ever so lightly, just like that. Like, you can see that there's bronzer there, but it's not overdone. And then I would go in with a blush. This is from Essence. This is their The Blush Befitting. I love these so much. And I'm just going to take ever so gently a little pop of that and put it, like, right on top of the uh, bronzer that I just applied, like, right through here. And it's just ever so slightly and it gives you this cute little like beachy cheek moment oh my god that's actually a really cute mixture okay as a side note by the way this is one of my new favorite blushes I've used it a ton of times and I actually ordered the other colors because I thought this was so beautiful from there I'm gonna grab and just go in with a big old fluffy brush there's no product on it or anything and I just want to work those two products together and really buff them into the skin because that for me is what kind of cements that more like natural glowy look on the cheek. From here, before I ever go in with highlight, you guys know I like to set my face. So I'm actually going to remove my glasses and go in with a little Morphe. All right. And then from there, let's go ahead and talk about highlights. As you can see, this is what I am the most excited about. Look at these freaking colors. Oh my God. They're so beautiful. Oh, that middle one is calling my name. It's like the perfect light kind of gold champagne color. And I also don't want to forget about this little guy. We're going to go ahead and swatch it. Oh, this one does not feel anywhere near as good. It feels way more chalky than that one. Okay, I don't even know if you can see those. They're on my wrist. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take the middle shade here and oh, wait, wait, wait. Pause. I got this new brush that I picked up also from their website. This is their highlighter brush. Oh, one. They see me glowing and it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not because I didn't read any reviews or anything, but we're going to give it a try. Looks a little something like this has a flatter profile to it. So it's probably going to be one of this type of situation, which I can get behind. Which side is going to look better here? Let's do this one. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I literally blinked for one second and then all of a sudden, bam, okay, uh, we have highlight. All right, we've got takeoff and she is a blinding. Okay, all right, so that is beautiful. Oh, okay, I'm actually like a little bit shook right now. I really, I, like I thought it would be really like bright, but I didn't think it would look that like illuminated on my skin. The only thing I'm having a hard time with, and I'm going to try a different brush. I feel like that one is like pulling my actual product that's already on my face around. And I'm not loving that. It's a little bit too dense for me. If it had just a little bit more movement, I would be fine. So on this side, I'm going to take and use my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Stipple. And I'm just going to try hitting it right there. Oh, yep. Much better. I just realized I didn't do anything with my eyelids. <laughs> I literally went right by my eyelids. Like, who does that? I don't know. Apparently I do. I just forget that they even exist. I think actually all I'm going to do now that I'm just looking at it, I'm just going to take and I'm going to mush out that concealer that I already have on there, which apparently I put on there a very long time ago. And I'm going to grab just a little bit of this shade over here. This is the gold shade in this highlight. 
palette and I'm gonna just pop that all over my lid. All right, now really quickly, I do wanna brighten up my under eyes and I can't find my Essence Brighten Up Powder anywhere. It's a fantastic powder. I will link it down below. I'll have all of this linked down below, but I highly recommend that if you like a brightening eye powder. It is a beautiful one, uh, but I, like I said, I don't know where mine is. So I'm just gonna grab, this is the uh, Anna Sue one that I have. I talked about it in a Shop My Stash video, which I will link up there. And it's very brightening. I got it from Beautylish. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and spray the face a few more times. First with the Morphe, a little bit of my Maybelline Lasting Fix. This is what's really gonna lock it in. And then just a touch of my Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray. All right, so here's what I need to know. Um, have any of you seen like a witch or a wizard around? <laughs> because my skin right now looks beautiful. And 10 minutes ago, like right before I sprayed it, it looked not good. I sprayed it once with the Morphe spray. It looked okay. But now I just went in and sprayed it with those three powders. And guys, I'm telling you, it actually looks uh, like easily, I would say 80% better than it did. Uh, okay. What magic are you? Guys, let's go ahead and move on because I could just sit here and stare all day. And next we have mascara, which I did pick up two different versions. I have their Essence All, all Eyes On Me Multi-Effect Mascara. And this is in obviously soft black. Then I also grabbed this one. This is their Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And I think I've used this before, but I wasn't obsessed with it. So I thought I would pick up, I don't know, it again, plus another mascara maybe, I don't know. All right, so honestly, this mascara, like I can't even mess with with this. This one is absolute garbage. I don't even know what it's supposed to do. Like, I just applied so much of it to this one eye, like, just trying to get one good base coat on, and I swear to you, I can't get hardly any on my lashes, and I don't... I. I, I I just have to put that one down for a minute. We're gonna switch off and go in with this one. And hopefully we have a little bit better luck because that one <laughs> makes me wanna scream. So let's go ahead and face off with this other mascara here. Okay, so I need you guys to understand how much of a struggle I just had putting on that mascara. Like, I don't know the last time I struggled <laughs> with mascara quite so much. So first thing I'm gonna say, I'm covered in like black mascara, what? I'm covered in black mascara goo. It's all over my hands, it's under my eyes, and like, I just, <laughs> okay, so first of all, this mascara, the All Eyes On Me, this does basically nothing, okay? If you want a mascara that's like so natural, it's like mm, essence O mascara, this is that girl, because let me tell you, it's a thin formula, and when I say thin, I don't mean like thin and it goes everywhere. I mean like thin as you're applying it, you're like, where is it? It's that level of thin, uh, just because it has like no pigmentation. So then I go in with this one and I'm like, okay, first coat's not too bad. It was like optimistic. It has like a little goo factor to it, which is good. It gives me a little voluminous situation. And then I went in with my second coat and wouldn't you know it, it started going very badly um, as it started to form like those little balls and those of you, <laughs> balls. Did I just giggle at the word balls? Yes, I did. Um, but for those of you that wear only mascara, I'm seven. For those of you that wear only mascara, though, you know what I'm talking about when, like, if you really build it up sometimes with certain mascaras, you get, like, your lashes, and then it's, like, ball, ball, ball at the end of each lash, and it looks awful. It looks like a Christmas tree branch, okay? It's not a cute situation. That is what that did to me. So then I'm sitting here, and I'm trying to, like, kind of, like, get rid of them, like, just pluck the little, the little balls off the end of my eyelashes. It was... As I'm saying this, I realize I'm sounding dumber and dumber, but I promise you it was a whole experience, one that I don't want to relive. It took me 20 minutes to do my mascara, and I'm not being dramatic. It's actually been 20 minutes since I've been doing my mascara. Oh my God, make it stop. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move on, and um, for that we're gonna do lips, which means I need to wipe, wipe these off. So one second. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with a lip, and I'm actually really excited because I ordered more shades of their eight hour lip pencils. I love these things. I have talked about them so many times on my channel, and I believe I actually repurchased a couple of these shades because I just think they are so good. But I think for today, I'm actually, you know what? It's a really minimal look. I could do like a semi-bold lip. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the shade 01 because duh. It's just like a beautiful, 
like light mauve -y kind of color. It's so good. These lip liners, I really, really love them. And that is the color All Applied. And I have to say, with these lip liners, if you're looking for something where um, you really like to put the liner all over the lip, like I do, put a gloss over top, you can do that. Um, or in the past, I've actually loved the color and the finish so much that I've actually just left it just like this. And it wears so beautifully. You can pop a lipstick over it. You can pop a gloss over it. I just want to throw that out there in case you're looking for different ways to wear them. They are beautiful on their own. You can pair them with a ton of different things and they last beautifully. But for today, I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on top. This is the JSC Gloss in the shade Shockwave. This is one of my favorites. I just like to pop it right in the center. And all right, you guys, that is the full face all complete. What do you guys think? I'm obviously going to go ahead and throw up the up close so you guys can take a look at it as well. I think for me, I'm back in the camp of not loving the foundation and boy, has that been a ride. Uh, but I just think after everything has settled out and the sprays and all of that have really sank in, I feel like this foundation does look a little bit too thick and a little bit too cakey and definitely over my like more porous regions. It's not my favorite. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Editing page here, your favorite neighborhood scrunchy wear an old lady sweater loving lady um i wanted to step on really quickly because i just i have one thing i need to interject about this foundation because as i'm going through the footage and just like looking over everything um i feel like on camera this foundation looks pretty good consistently and in real life up close it was definitely a struggle bus like if i when i play with it again because i think i will play with this again as maybe like a mix in but i will definitely have to go in and prep my skin a little differently i think that'll be key because for some reason and even though this has like a, a fresh element to it, when you're applying it and going through the first few steps, it almost looked more matte or more dry on my skin. So something to keep in mind there, number one. Number two, I also wanted to mention that after, you know, all was said and done and just now, just in the wrap up, I said, hey, you know, I don't really like the way that it looks. It looks a little bit thick, a little cakey. Eh. And later on in the day, like maybe two hours after I got done filming this, it actually looked beautiful on my skin like right through here it looked so smooth i was personally really impressed with it my mom was impressed with it like especially again seeing how it looked from application all the way through to the end i just i want to throw that out there just to be fair about it like in that moment i didn't like it but out in regular light a little while later it looked really nice and it actually wore pretty well so just to put that out there i do think that in the future like i said i'd prep a little different and maybe use it as a mix-in because i still wasn't a big fan of the color difference and and just you know like the coverage and all of that but just overall the formula very very tricky formula but I, would, I think if you could master it I could see this being really useful again as like a nice you know kind of summer feel and uh and just set, settling in beautifully into my skin I can't get over it so I just wanted to throw that out there I hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget the bloopers and have a beautiful day y'all just go have a beautiful damn day right mom right have a good day <laughs> I'm very tired. But as far as the other products go, you know, obviously we had a couple more polarizing ones in there, but I really think overall these products weren't that bad. Like, do I think that you need these sponges? Absolutely not. I think they're horrible. And I would recommend a Real Technique or an e.l.f. sponge all day long, or even a ColourPop sponge. Like those are all really good. They're affordable options. And I just think that the profile of this is absolutely ridiculous. Like it, you don't need it. But uh, I think for me, what really shined today, other than, you know, the lip liners and the blushes, the things that I've already used before, um, were definitely the powder products. I really, really enjoyed this um, highlight palette right here. I'll definitely play with it again, especially that center shade. That's a beautiful, beautiful color. It looks really nice on my skin tone. And I'm really a big fan as well of the bronzer palette and that luminous bronzer. I'll play around with those. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below, uh, whether it's on this brand, if you like this type of video, or if there's another brand that you'd like me to take a look at, I would love to hear from you. Now that I think of it, somebody actually mentioned to me, I think the brand is Kaja. They do the like the face stamps and stuff like that. Somebody asked me to take a look at them because I've never played with their stuff. So if you'd like to see them or again, any other brand, let me know down below. I'm actually currently working on another full face of a brand that I have never played with. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, but again, leave me your thoughts and opinions down below on any content you would like to see, brands you'd like to see, products, all that good stuff. I love to hear from you. And if you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, of course, those will both be linked down in the description box. Of course, the most important thing, if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do that before you leave. I do put up three new videos a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up around 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And guys, I think that's everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys all have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome back. I don't know if I'm the only one, but getting a box in the mail from Essence just made me like heart 
made me heart and soul. Just made me heart and soul go strong. I'm going for more of like a fresh face kind of feel. A fresh face kind of feel. Oh, it's so gooey. Ew, ew. Okay, maybe we should just try a smooth, smoothie, 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 smoothie. And then I also grabbed their Lash Princess. This is their false lash, uh, what? 